Uh, good afternoon to one and all present here, respected chairperson and jury members. I'm Ishika Shukla from Government Institute of Forensic Science, Nagpur, and I have chosen the topic biometrics and forensic identification. Oh, ma'am, next slide, please. So, yeah, introduction. Accurate and efficient identification have become a vital requirement for forensic application due to diversity of criminal activities. A recent advancement in biometric technology, which is equipped with computational intelligence technique, is replacing manual identification approaches in forensic science. Biometric is a fundamental verification mechanism that identifies individuals on the basis of their physiological and behavioral features. These biometric expansion are easily observable in different forensic identification areas, example, face, fingerprint, iris, voice, handwriting, etc. Forensic biometric also overcomes the loopholes of traditional identification system that were based on personal probabilities. It is considered as a fundamental shift in the way criminals are detected. So what is biometric? Biometric is one of the most fascinating way to solve the crime. It is an automated way to establish the identity of a person on the basis of his or her physical, that is fingerprint, face, hand or finger geometry, iris, retina, ear, etc., and behavioral characteristics, that is signature, voice, gait, odor, etc. A biometric system is a pattern recognition device that acquires physical and behavioral data from an individual, extract a slight feature set the data set from the data, compares this feature set against the feature stored in the database and provide the result of the comparison. So basically, Biometric are the way to measure a person's physical and behavioral characteristic to that can be used to digitally identify a person. Now, coming to a general working of biometrics, biometric generally works in four steps. That is, it acquires the simple life sample from the candidate using its sensor. Second, extract the prominent unique features from the sample then compare live sample with the sample stored in its database and last present the decision give the decision biometric system works on two basic application mode that is authentication and identification biometric authentication compares the data for from the person's characteristic to that person's biometric template to determine the resemblance now, the biometric identification consists of determining the identity, the identity of a person. Next slide, please. Yeah. The characteristics of biometrics. First, universality. Universality, stipu uh, universality stipulates that we should be able to find our chosen biometric characteristic in the majority of people we expect to enroll in our system. Second is uniqueness. It is the measure of how unique a particular characteristic, a particular trait is among the individuals. Third, permanence or permanent shows how well a particular characteristic resists changes over time and in advancing age. Then measurability. It measures how easy it is to acquire a characteristic with which we can later authenticate a user. Then comes acceptability, is a measure of how acceptable the particular characteristic is to the user of the system. Then performance is a set of metrics that judge how well a given system functions. Such factor includes its accuracy, speed, or error rate. Last, circumvention, describes the ease with which a system can be tricked be a falsified biometric identifier next slide please now the applications and the types of biometric 
Biometric is generally divided into two types that is behavioral biometrics and physiological biometrics. Behavioral biometric identifies the pattern in a way that particular body performed particular task that is pattern in walking, speaking, talking or even touch a screen. These patterns are prohibitively difficult to capture and replicate and evolve over time. This include voice, gesture, signature style, typing, speed, rhythm, etc. Now, coming to gait biometrics. Gait biometric is nothing but a style or a manner of walking. This has led to number of automated vision based algorithm that use gait as a biometric. Such a system usually consists of video camera capturing the images of a person walking within its field of review. Appropriate features extracted from the video and are then used to compare with the stored gate signature of known individual. Voice biometrics. Voice biometric deals with the identification of speaker from the characteristic of his or her voice. It is often used when the voice is only then uh, only trade for identification example telephonic bomb threat or money in kidnapping cases demand of money in kidnapping cases etc it has two approaches voice biometrics has two approaches first text dependent that is recognition based on fixed predetermined phrases and second text independent Recognition is independent of what person is speaking. Physiological biometric refers to a physical measurement of human body, including face, fingerprint, hand geometry, iris, retina, DNA, etc. The recognition system based on physiological characteristics has relatively high accuracy. Now, first, face biometrics. A facial recognition system is a technology capable of matching a human face from a digital image or a video frame against a database of face typically employed to authenticate user through ID verification services, works by pinpointing and measuring the facial features from a given image. Fingerprint biometrics. A fingerprint is the pattern of friction ridges and valleys on the surface of fingertip. In order to match a print, a fingerprint technician digitalizes or scans the print obtained at the crime scene and computer algorithm of a biometric system locates all unique minutia and rich points of quotient prints. These unique feature sets are then matched against the stored fingerprint database. Next slide, please. Now, AMDIS, which is Automated Multimodal Biometric Identification System. The system was designed in France based International National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, and process guidelines and has a multi-fold backup system to prevent the data loss. An AMBIS device includes a computer device, camera, an iris, fingerprint and palm scanner. It is basically a facial recognition technology application. Equipped with advanced facial recognition, AMBIS analyzes crime scene biometric identification and in a matter of seconds, it scans and identifies the latent print from fingerprint in the police database. It connects to CCTV cameras in crowded public areas, such as railway station, airports, traffic signal, markets, and bus stands, and identifies the suspect with 100% accuracy. AMBIS is an up-to-date variant of AFIS, that is Automated Fingerprint Identification System, which Indian law enforcement agencies have been able to use for quest for fingerprint and palm print. Maharashtra in India became the first state in police in this investigation to implement the AMBIS. My next slide, please.
Now coming to advantages of biometrics, its accuracy as we have seen, it has 100% accuracy in some of its biometrics. Security is 100% secure, flexibility, trustable, and it saves time. Now next slide, please. Disadvantages, error, sometimes due to uh, not proper images in environmental conditions and poor videography, error can be made, can be done. Then cost, it is highly costly. Complexity, uh, it used the uh, only trained uh, officers and personnel can use this biometric system. Unhygienic and quite difficulty in scanning. Last, the conclusion. Accurate and reliable identification is an important issue in crime detection. The biometric recognition is emerging as a sound scientific justifiable tool in investigative procedure. It holds the potential to solve the criminal activities. Advancements in biometric technology mean that biometric will have a more marked impact in crime detection in coming future. However, many improvements in the recognition system can be expected in recent findings in applied mathematics, statistics, and computer science and are implemented in biometric science. Thank you.